do better always. I can do better. Everybody can do better always. Uh, but we just gotta, like, we can't wait. We just gotta go out and get it. You know, things are after us. And we just gotta go out with the same mentality we had in the second half. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on the, the final foul call that sent Nurkic to the line? No. What about the, uh, the the very final shot that you got? What did you think of the, the quality of that look? With that, with that much time, was there any chance that you guys could have worked to get something better? Uh, so you're saying it's a bad shot? I'm, I'm just asking. You basically said it. I think, I think it was, all, like I said, always you can get a better shot. It's point eight on the clock, so it's kind of tough. Uh, that's, I think that's a makeable shot. And, that, and that's what I'm asking. Like with point eight, yeah. I don't have a good idea as a journalist. You know, like what, like that's all I'm asking. You know, like yeah. what, what is reasonable at that time frame? Yeah, I mean, I always can get a better shot. I mean, you know, I just uh, went a little bit out. Maybe I could have stopped three point. I don't know. Uh, just wanted to brace the separation. Uh, but I always can get a better shot. Yeah. Uh, on the first, on the early start. So apologies in advance. But Jason Kidd was. You know, really, you know, Jason was really focused on it, you know, you know, cursing about it like up here and in a very unique way, clearly. He yeah, was, so. yeah, yeah, he was he was uh, frustrated in a way that that we rarely see him. Is there any through line to, uh, you know, I, I'm sure you guys are listening that you hear it, that you were trying to implement this and it's still not happening. Is there any through line or any cause that that could be allowing this disconnect between what's being said and what's being focused on and what's actually happening? It's a great question. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the ends of uh, professional basketball, man. Like when we're dealing with coaching and player relationships and we're trying to get the best out of each other and they see things and they've been studying film for hours and majority of the time the players have been studying film too. And when you're out there, you feel different things as well. Um, so they, they like for us to live off our instincts and play off our instincts. And I think I got to give credit to JK for allowing us to do that and our whole entire coaching staff. But when they're expecting us to play at a certain level to start off the game, we got to meet those expectations too. It's a, it's a healthy ask. It's a healthy challenge for us. And um, you know, again, I, I'm not going to make any excuses up here, but we just got to continue to bring the pace, bring the fight to the other team, and um, not be in the kind of passenger seat of just dealing with people being the aggressor with us. We got to be the driver. And you guys know, watching tons of NBA games, when a team comes out soft or lackadaisical. And you know that other team is thirsty and hungry. They're gonna, they're gonna take full advantage of of your lack of effort and your lack of um, you know focus. So it could be a, a few different things, but I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We we've been pretty bad in the first quarters, and we gotta be better, man. So um, you know, words only go so far, though. Certainly, you guys. How do you, as a veteran player, kind of encourage them to kind of do more, but also you know hold them accountable? Uh, it's a great question. I, I just think in, in the sport of basketball, especially, uh, sorry, give me a second, just make sure it's not all lit. Okay. Um, no, just in the sport of basketball, there are a lot of things that can go uh, different ways, you know, and um, one of the most difficult positions to play is, is a role player because uh, you have to accept your role and you have to remain consistent and we depend on you. Um, you know, I, I get a few more clicks or a few more shots at the rim, you know, kind of find my rhythm, but when you're a guy that comes off the bench and you're only playing 10, 15, 20 minutes, you got to make the best out of it. And sometimes you don't have the same um, leash that other people have to be able to make mistakes. So uh, us as a team, I think we have the maturity, we, we have the, the skill set, we, we have the, um, you know, the attitude and mentality to be able to help each other out there, especially when we have a change in lineups. And um, we just got to continue to feed good energy to one another and continue to be great on the defensive end. Um, you know, that's where I'm going to lay my hat on for us, regardless of who's in the game, whether it be the starters or the bench players, we all got to maintain that uh, defensive pressure on these teams that we're playing against. And offensively, just continue to have fun and give each other space to be great. You said you're not.